Okay, we're going to look at the words east and west now. So, uh, one thing we really need to point out here, if you reference the descript information, you'll quickly see that there's a special combination for ST. This is an ST. As you can see here is the S. The T, while most commonly is used in this form or this form, it can also be reverse S curve. Any curve going the other way, the opposite from where the S would go. So ST, and this is TS. So just remember that, because that's the versions we're probably going to be using in these words. Well, first we'll look at the simplest possible combination. So E, A, S, and this is where nor where nor the normal version of the T would produce something like this, or like this, or so, so, so several other possible ways to use the double line. But what we're going to do is use that. Now, of course, it looks best if you connect it off of there, and it also saves a stroke, so east. And one more way to save it, this break doesn't have to happen. We can just kind of slant the line down the middle of the E, like so, and east, without raising the pen, without raising the pen from the paper a single time. I love this version, and it kind of seems to go left to right. Um, if you want to try to be clear about the fact that the east seems to be on the right side of the mind, well then maybe you'd want to do something like this. Find some way to push it out to the right, or make the motion seem more to the right than the left. Now, west. Okay, the simplest possible combination of west is... Now again, we'll use the ST at the bottom here instead. So, now one thing to remember about the W when it's on top, when it's before a circular word or a, tr or a U, um, the three dashes need to be evenly spaced. This is this is for a particular reason. This would be T Y, a T sorry T E C. This dash has to be clearly a component of these. So either they have to be all together tightly or very evenly spaced so the eye can quickly pick up that these are together and not have to run through the combinations is that W E or is that T E C. So, um, and then one other thing we can do with the W is the W also has this form. So we could go W E. Now let's put that all together and we've got W E S T. So West is normally kind of thought of as going to the left, so what we can do here is we could try maybe making it go to the left more. That's not bad actually, I kind of like that style of, it really seems to be going to the west. And then one more thing we can do with east that I didn't cover, we can put the A inside of the E. So you can do it like that, or like that. And then after that you can of course also try adding on the ST, you could do it in here like that, or you could do it in here like that. And that this is east and this is east as well, both are east.